So friends, in this video, we are going to study the process, cumin process, also known as uh, Hock process for preparation of, it is a commercial method of, commercial method for the preparation of phenol and acetone. It is also known as Hock process and uh, raw material or starting material required in the process is propene and benzene. Propene and benzene are uh, starting material and uh, these are uh, byproduct of petrochemical industry. So they are available in large amount and uh, very inexpensive raw materials. That is why this method is prepared and uh, by cumin process this propene and benzene are finally converted to phenol and acetone. They are very useful chemical, industrial chemicals, phenol and acetone and uh, the, this method, cumin method is very economical since the raw materials are easily available and inexpensive. And this, the whole process, cumin process involves uh, three reactions, propene and benzene are first converted to cumin and they, uh, so on. So this, uh, the uh, three types of reactions are involved, three steps of, uh, are involved. So reactions involved, we are going to discuss now, reactions involved in cumin process. we are going to discuss one by one. So these are three steps or three reactions involved. So first reaction is conversion of propene to propene and benzene react to give cumin. So we have uh, propene which reacts with benzene and it is a electrophilic substitution reaction and the catalyst required is H3PO4 it is preferred over aluminium chloride trichloride since the reactant is propene so it is preferred it gives better yield and it is a type of Friedel Crafts alkylation. and the catalyst is phosphoric acid. It is preferred. We have other options also like aluminum trichloride, BF3, etc. But it is the pre preferred catalyst and uh, mechanism involved is Friedel Kraft alkylation and uh, all the mechanism involved in these reactions, uh, uh, I will be discussing in different video next video so here we are discussing only the reactions involved so cumin is formed so this is cumin also known as isopropyl benzene so first stage, first step is conversion of propene and benzene to cumin or isopropyl benzene. In the second reaction or the in the second step, this cumin is converted to cumin hydroperoxide. Hydroperoxide and this is by oxidation of cumin so it is oxidation and oxidation uh, oxygen of air is utilized for oxidation so let us see the reaction involved this is cumin 
and oxygen from air used to give another intermediate reaction intermediate so this is see this is peroxide bond oxygen this is oxygen this is oxygen oxygen bond peroxide bond and uh, hydrogen is bonded to this peroxide oxygen that is why this uh, product is known as cumene hydroperoxide cumene hydroperoxide and uh, some uh, it involves free radical mechanism and some uh, some initiator is required free radical initiator is involved and it is free radical through free radical mechanism so we get cumene hydroperoxide now in the third reaction or the third third stage of cumene process is conversion of this cumene hydroperoxide it is cumene hydroperoxide is heated with sulfuric acid it is heated with sulfuric acid and uh, it uh, involves rearrangement of phenyl group which again uh, will be discussing in the next video so phenol is obtained and acetone another useful product industrial useful product phenol and acetone are stay, uh, obtained finally so uh, this this bond carbon carbon bond and this bond or phenyl group migrates to this oxygen and this rearrangement in, is involved and the detailed mechanism I'll be discussing in the next video and both phenol and acetone are very useful uh, industrial products like it is uh, used in the manufacture of aspirin, nylon, so they are very uh, nylon billiard balls and deodorants etc and it is acetone is used as a solvent in industries nail polish remover etc and polymers like plastic etc so they are very useful chemicals industrially so this is the cumin process and it involves these three reactions involve three important or very interesting mechanisms which uh, I will be discussing in the next video so please watch out for the next video in which I will be discussing uh, the mechanisms involved in these three reactions so thanks for watching this video thank you friends